Today in the news, the 7800X3D beats the 13900K, according to AMD, AM5 finally gets its price right, and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. So the company recently released their 7000 X3D models of Ryzen CPUs. Well, specifically the 12 core 7900 X3D and the 16 core 7950 X3D. If we look at the reviews, well, they're kind of weird CPUs. Whether you look at Gamers Nexus, Hardware Unboxed, LTT, Tom's Hardware, uh, Tech Power Up, or whoever else's reviews, these chips don't really dominate the competition. In some cases, their own eight core 7700X is as fast as the 12 core 7900X3D. And sometimes the 5800X3D gets really close to them. In other cases, the 7950X3D destroys the old models while the 7900X3D lags a little behind. But on average, they're pretty good gaming chips. Just not worth the price in my opinion, especially when compared to Intel's 13900K, which is at or close to the top in every benchmark and costs like $120 cheaper. You just have to live with a space heater. Anyways, why am I talking about this? Well, because a third X3D model, the 8-core 7800X3D, is coming in a little less than a month, and AMD is starting to give us some homegrown benchmarks for it. The thing is, those benchmarks are kind of wild. Tom's Hardware shared some uh, AMD slides about that 8-core 3D chip, and AMD claims it's about 20% faster than the 5800X3D or the 13900K. But that's in four cherry-picked games. As we know, on average, the two new X3D models aren't all they were cracked up to be. Fast for sure, but they didn't dominate the space like the 5800X3D did. Thankfully though, the upcoming 7800X3D should give us that performance, but at a much lower price tag. I say should because, I mean, the clock speeds are considerably lower for the 8-core model compared to the 16-core variant. It has a boost of 5 gigahertz versus 5.7 on the 7950X3D. Plus, it can't fall back to a faster CCD like the uh, 12 and 16-core since, well, there's only one die. It's going to be interesting to see how this CPU behaves because of that. In any case, we got less than a month before this thing comes out, so what are your thoughts on this? Given, you know, the hit or miss properties of 3D Vcash. Would you get the 7800X3D or go for a much cheaper 7700X? Let me know down below. Speaking of much cheaper, we finally got some pretty inexpensive AM5 motherboards. And no, we're not talking about a downgraded chipset like A620. ASRock's B650M HDV is now $125. That's the starting price that AMD promised back when they revealed AM5. It has two DDR5 memory slots rated at up to 6400 megatransfers per second, one Gen 4 M.2 NVMe slot, a good amount of USB 3.2 ports at the back, and 2.5 gigabit ethernet at the back. Now, sure, the power stages are a little anemic compared to the rest of the ASRock lineup, but pair this with the 7600X or 7700X, and your platform cost is actually pretty good. I hope we can see sub $100 motherboards though by the end of the year, because that's when I plan to upgrade my system from AM4. Next up, let's talk Steam Deck. Obviously, the handheld PC slash console was a smash hit. I mean, it sold over a million units, and that's a number from October of last year. And a lot of people are asking, well, when can we expect a Steam Deck sequel, a Steam Deck Plus, or Steam Deck 2? We're a year after launch, and the hardware in this thing is, uh, well, it's a little older with a Zen 2 CPU and RDNA 2 graphics. Well, in an interview with Rock Paper Shotgun, Valve designers said that a true next gen Steam Deck wouldn't be for a few years. That's a bummer, but at least we know that an upgraded version of the first gen Steam Deck might come with something like a battery or a screen upgrade. Hopefully, an iFixit kit would allow you to upgrade these things, you know, without having to buy a brand new Steam Deck. I'm curious how many of you guys own a Steam Deck. Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here, the C Lives video, right here. Subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, my dude. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.